All right, good afternoon, Pauline Gibson. How are you? I'm fine, and you? I'm fine, thank you much. This, this is um, King Lion behind the camera, people. And I, I'm, I'm really intrigued with this woman. Um, what's really in, got my mind boggling is the fact that she was a counsellor. Oh. And I just wanted to know, you know, how she got there. Because, you know, becoming a counsellor is not really an easy journey. So the question is, Pauline, what drove you uh, to, to you know, pursue that road of being a counsellor? Well, I've always been interested in people, causes and issues, and I love to basically help people out. That's one of my weaknesses. My whole family is very, very kind like that. You know, we like helping out people with right. difficulties. And when I, when, I, uh, when I achieve, I get a buzz out of it. Like just to see someone, you know, smiling and happy and content yeah. with their life, you yeah, know, uh, it just gives me a really good, good lift. Uh, secondly, um, I've always been interested in, 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 in uh, advocacy, even as, as young as, like, as, as a child. But me and my cousins used to, you know, talk about our squabbles, mm. yeah. And um, I remember one of my cousins turned around and said, um, "Oh, if I was, if it was me, I would do this, and I'm going to fight." And I said, "I'm not going to fight. I'm going to get my solicitor to represent me." Mm. My <laughs> uncle laughed. <laughs> He's so dry, he didn't realise that children had solicitors <laughs> to represent them. How old was you at the time? I was about five. Wow, amazing. Yeah, amazing. yeah but, um, yeah, I'd, I mean, even when I, when I was young, I tell you, I've never been in a fight before with anybody, and, you know, I always seem to know how to use my mouth to get myself out of it. Right. And usually, it, I don't know what I do, but it tends to, like, uh, kill off the, the tension. There is wisdom. You, yeah. you you have wisdom, my dear. That's what it is. Something like that. But um, I've always been interested in people, and uh, I suppose when I first became a counsellor, well, like before when I was campaigning, the thing that drove me to, to get to that stage right is determination. Right. I've got a very strong, determined gene. Um, right. I get what I want. <laughs> okay. So walk us through the process. What would you have to do to become a counsellor? Well, lots of things. You have to be interested in politics. You have to belong to a party, you have to uh, play, play, your, play your bit within the party. Do you mind me asking, what party were you involved in at the time? At the time I was in the Labour Party. Okay, yeah. okay. Um, yeah, but you have to do what you have to do. Do you, do you have to go to meetings and stuff of that nature? Yeah, I was a, I was a secretary for the Tottenham Green Ward for, for about two and a half years. Prior to becoming a councillor? Yeah, and Fantastic. Then, then the position came around as, as uh, they, were, they were selecting and I didn't really want to go for it, I wasn't interested in poli politics. Having been in, involved with Bernie Grant, I didn't feel like I wanted to go back into it and I thought, let me try. That's interesting. And I won, you know, I actually won uh, 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 the, uh, the, the right to find a candidate for Noel Park and um, I campaigned for about a year with two other colleagues right. and um, I campaigned and campaigned, and there were times when. Do you mind if I ask you a question? What is the process of campaigning? What do you? What does one do to campaign? Just campaign, door knocking, engage the general members of the public. Um, you know, just tell people what you're about, really. Okay. Um, but I think, as I was saying, going back to what I was saying, that sorry. I felt that um, there are times when I look down the road, particularly some parts of Wood Green, and where they have those long houses, long streets. 600 houses, and I, and I just couldn't go anymore because I was so tired. Right. And I was thinking, do I, do I really want to do this? Mm. And the answer was yes. Yeah. And I, I didn't do, I didn't do the 600 houses. I probably did half, half or a quarter of the street, and then came back and did it in stages. Oh, well, that's good. But you <laughs> achieved it. You achieved it in the end. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. There's determination. There's drive. Wow. Yeah. So in that, that's how. Uh, how I, how I did it. So what was, what was the view and the feeling of the community when they discovered that you was a councillor for, for, for the award? When I won, you mean? No, for the, for the area. How did a they feel? A lot of people didn't know that I was a councillor. Oh, right. I, didn't, yeah. I don't go around shouting it out that I, that I was a councillor. Right. Uh, I kept it very low-key, particularly in my area. I think the difficulty was living, living in the community and moving in the community is that people recognise you. Right. And I had difficulty with that, but particularly at first, I didn't understand why people coming up to me and talking to me, you know, I always thought I knew them from somewhere. 
Right, okay. And um, it's, it's a very strange feeling. So people recognising you, but you don't necessarily know them. Right, so yeah. in terms of the council, what is a council's role? What can the council do for the local community? Um, think, of it, think of the area uh, as your kingdom. Okay. Yeah, local kingdom. Your job is, as a council, would be just to represent. Right, you, you'd be the first point of call if they if they ever needed any help. Yeah. Right. And that's it. It's nothing more than that. Okay. Yeah. So would and, and also to to campaign on issues and okay. to, and to represent and vote um, on policy. Okay. If you know when when they when they because you have to go to meetings. Yes. Yes. That's so therefore right. you ha you're elected to represent the people and you have to vote. Right. So. Okay, so in terms of the relationship between a councillor and an MP, how close would you be to an MP as a councillor? MPs have a lot more responsibility. Granted, yeah, but and a lot and a lot more uh, heavier case caseload, sure. and also a lot more people to deal with. I guess what I'm trying to the question I'm trying to ask is, can a councillor influence an MP? Because technically you're representing the local people in your area and you're coming to the MP with questions of concerns from the local people uh, and I guess he uh, or she as an MP would have to take on board what you're saying because you're representing um, the people from the local area. Is that, is that well, my, my, that's I, my I, I kind of hear your question and I'm not sure how to answer it. Okay. But I'll answer it as best I can. Okay. Yeah. As a member of the community, I fall under the constituency of an MP. Ah. Yeah. Okay. And I don't have any jurisdiction right. over what an MP does. Th I understand yeah? that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm, uh, I'm a will as a member of the public to consult him about issues that I have. Yeah. But mm -hmm. it's a totally different, totally different ball game because people will, will go to him on bigger issues. Right. Like whereas we'll come to the ca local councils on smaller issues. Okay. So, so all right, that's, that's, that is how I interpret that question. Okay. Get, forget, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but that's how I see um, the di differentiate the two roles. It's a completely sure. different role. Clear. An MP will sit in Parliament. Yeah. That I understand. But, yeah, and I will sit in the local chamber. Right. Okay. Yeah. Great. So let me just let me just for clarity's sake say, okay. Here's a solicitor, here's a barrister. We know that the solicitor is basically the runner for the barrister. He will get all the cases, he'll get all the information that he presents to the barrister and the barrister will take it and present it. My question is, is a councillor um, in that kind of um, situation whereas the council will get information from the local people in terms of i.e. their concerns and then bring it to the MP and say, MP, um, this is the concerns of my local constituents, uh, we need some action, we need, something needs to be done, how can we remedy it? Will he or she then take it on board and then maybe present it to Prime Minister's questions, for example? Right, once, once again, I am not qualified to answer everything sure. you ask. I don't know every single uh, sure. um, answer to every single question. Okay. What I'm saying is, right, that an MP has, has um, a role of their own. Right, and it sounds as if that is you're you're describing the role of of an MP, yeah. Well, you see, and then there are times there are times when when I I think MP should be impartial, yeah, and not get involved with local issues, right? That's my point. That's yeah, why I'm asking. There, does there are times that I, that's my personal belief, right? Right. This is but why. So it's totally cut you, but this is why I, I I from my perspective, I see the council law as a person that takes up the local issues and brings it to the attention of the MP for him to act um, overall on the on the on the on the basis of the community because the council has actually done the legwork. I'm not saying it does or doesn't happen. I'm sure. just saying that I've been done it. Okay, cool. That's, cool, that's, cool. that's, the, that's the best I can do. All right, yeah? all right, <laughs> all right. Cool. Thank you for that answer. It's all right. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay. So, are you still actively um, a council at the minute? I'm not. I'm not in office at present. No, I'm um, just an order member of, of the public. Okay. But I do a lot of community work. I have. Um, at present, I, I do casework as well when I'm ready. Okay. Define casework. What People do you mean? come through the problem and I've represented them. Okay. And how, yeah. how and where would you represent them? D 
just to, 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 basically uh, they come to me, um, they give me the authority to act for them, and then I basically just put their, ca their, their point of view across to the council. Oh, fantastic. And I've, and I've done that quite a few times. I don't do it too often, right? right. But it, it, people who, who are in need desperately come to me, I'm willing to help them. Okay, what kind of issues, if you don't mind saying, what kind of issues do they bring to you? Um, I mean, if it's personal, it's don't answer I'd, that I'd, rather, I'd rather not discuss um, those kind of issues on camera, but all I'm saying is, right, if there were issues that are, that are local issues... That's what I mean. Right, I, I would, yeah, yeah, I would, would, yeah, I would, I would deal with them, uh, and I have done. Sure. Yeah, I've done about, I would say I've done about five or, done about f two or three mm -hmm. in, the, in the last... Uh, five years. Okay, successful. Three, three years, something successful like that. Successful outcomes? 